real quick. Let me do my drop. We've been through so many changes. Seem like lately all... I just closed the manufacturing and distribution deal. Well, we haven't signed it yet, but we shook on it. And I'm really, 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 really excited. These are like real deal, like real deal fashion people who have clothes in Nordstrom's and all those places. So God is very good. Oh my God, how recent is this? Like today. Like that's why I'm in LA. <laughs> well, that and this. No, I'm here for Roland. I'm, I am only here for Roland Martin. <laughs> really about just loving yourself and loving the skin that you're in and knowing that we can be curvy and we can still be cute and yeah I know I had on a gift at the reunion equipped with a full complete bow tie but those are called fashion risks and um, I took one or two but I do I, I'm very excited to see what it's doing because I love I just like even with R&B divas I love having an idea and then just seeing it like boo boo you know what I mean so it just I love it. I haven't spoken to anybody from the show except Faith and Kiki since the reunion. Oh, Monifa called me for my birthday. July 8th. The day before the premiere of R&B Divas LA. So I was out here. I've been in LA. Like, I'm back and forth. I've been in LA so much. Yes. hasn't been announced but um, if my friend Faith is involved then I definitely will come and be involved as well but I need Faith in that space. I don't don't the viewers all agree that Faith needs to be there to like mediate so if Faith comes back to be a part of the mediation then I will be a part of the drinking and slurs and all that other crazy shit you're dead LA. RB Divas LA has taught me that I need to get on a treadmill. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're at a party. I'm being festive, y'all. Um, RB Divas LA is, I think it's an amazing cast. I talked to Kelly Price in the beginning. Little Mo actually was one of the first conversations I had when the idea, when I came up with the idea, she was on the conference call. Like we did a little conference call with everybody. Um, Dawn Robinson and I. So it feels good to see that this is really becoming like a Real Housewives franchise, but better because we sing. Um, and it feels good to see that people are really like excited about it. Like, it, it feel, aside from people thinking I'm the devil, I promise you I'm not. Um, TV people. Um, it's a beautiful thing. This what it's doing, not just for us, but for fans. It's dope. Like, I love it. So, and I think R&B Divas LA is about to get crunk. I'm pregnant, boo. What? And my baby's gonna be born on tour this summer. What? Yes, I'm excited. From Brownstone. <music> Penny Houston had just died, and then Michael Jackson died before that. And I was just like, you know what? I feel it. You know what I mean? And it took me being, that's what I do really appreciate most about the show is they say that God will bring you to your knees to make you pay attention. And I'm like, you know, TV, TV, TV. And God is like, see there what that TV done did with your big mouth? You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, um, it just really made me understand that music is not something that you can edit. A performance on stage, well, they edited Brownstone real foul in that last episode, but anywho. Um, we did a show with Faith Evans at the Roxy, and we killed it, right? But anyway, music, um, it's just, it's, it's such a, a universal language, and it's, it's speaking to my heart. My dad's a songwriter, my mama's singer. I think Whitney is the reason that R&B Divas is on television right now. I think that Whitney Houston died for our sins and she gave us the platform to do something more to do something better um, I think that 
it was her death that sort of made all of us, because Kelly was there, Kiki was there, Monifa was there, Faith was there, I, we were all there. And we all experienced her last moment, and I think that that was what made all of us say yes. I think that's what made TV One say yes. I think that that is what we did the soundtrack in the first season. So I think we owe it to Whitney Houston and her spirit and her guiding us through this process to not go down a certain path. To look at her life and use it as a lesson that we got to slow down and take a step back and really appreciate what it's really about, which is the music. Because I think that what destroyed Whitney Houston's, you know, spirit, because I do think her spirit was broken, you know, well, no, not before she died, but at a certain point. I think she was coming back before she passed. But at the point where she was really broken, I think, you know, it was because of the, the people around her and the people around the people around her sort of feeding into all of that negativity and the press and the, oh, that she didn't hit that note right. You know what I mean? So I can go on and on about it, but I think that we're here because of her. And I love you, Whitney. I love you, Whitney. Studio Q Show.